Hello everybody and welcome to another ball review here on the channel. This time for the shorts ball in the South Sands bundle. And we're going to have a closer look at this very interesting ball, I must say. But before we do that, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. For those of you that are looking to improve your game even more, scan the QR code here on the top right of the screen or use the link patreon.com slash goldclashtommy that you have in the description down below to sign up for our premium guides. We do, do offer premium guides for checkpoint challenge, tour play and tournament. So the shorts ball, <coughs> power through bon power through the bunkers with the power five, top spin boost two, side spin two, and wind resistance five. With legendary power and wind resistance at the helm, little will stand in your path. And this is gonna be, in my opinion, I think this is a very interesting ball for checkpoint challenge players. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit more once we open up that window. We do have a plus three overpower needle stability. So, we start with the tournament, as always. 7 out of 10, this is a situational ball. Uh, there will be times where this ball is going to be, you know, all, almost a must to have. Now I understand that we do have the big monster ball that has top spin boost 3, but I do think there is value with the side spin 2. And honestly, though, based off having to play an approach shot from distance, I would rather have this type of ball with one less top spin boost, but then one extra side spin than having just one side spin on the approach. Because we are normally using this type of ball if we're either attacking to get to the green or that we are somewhat fighting in a crappy headwind and trying to leave ourselves for somewhat a uh, realistic possibility from distance and then with two side spin is definitely much more helpful than one side spin but again it's a situational ball this is not a ball you're using on part threes this is not a ball that you're using on some of the part fours and the part fives but it's definitely a ball that you should be having if you do have a lot of the top spin boost three win five i would understand uh, p5 top spin boost three win five i would understand not really going any heavy here but it doesn't hurt to have a little pack uh, for this one in your inventory and that goes for all the division possibly not rookie as i don't really see the need for special balls down from the front tee but again you decide for yourself tour play five out of ten i can see value on this ball in terms of winning the game outright before you go to shootout um so a 5 out of 10 is really like, uh, okay, you will use it sometimes, but you will not use it sometimes. Um, many of the times you're playing a part 4 or a part 5 where you will be going to shoot out, then this ball is not the best one to have. But again, it's nothing wrong to take your chances if your opponent has screwed up your drive uh, to get yourself an easy win, or that you have the possibility to reach to the green or close to the green where your opponent playing with a different ball and you can get yourself a massive advantage that way. Now, checkpoint challenge, I give this one a 9.5 out of 10, almost a max almost a max rating and the reason for that is that these type of stats are absolutely brilliant for a player like myself that has been playing a little bit of checkpoint challenge lately can just see how valuable top spin boost balls are on some of the headwind part fives where you can have an absolute easy win uh, without going to shoot out that means uh, against your opponent because you take the advantage of playing with a much better ball Having the power 5 together with the wind 5 in itself is brilliant, but adding the top spin boost 2 is making it, you know, even better. And then adding on the last thing, which is a plus 3 overpower needle stability, because you will be using this ball in overpower many of the times as well. It's, I mean, it's uh, really a brilliant ball for checkpoint challenge. And I can see for those of you that are running through that track many times, I could see those of you, I can see you as a player to invest heavily in this type of ball we are going to have a look at this one in uh, practice we're gonna go in like that we're gonna see south sounds here and then we you know that the downloading takes like forever so when it comes to this ball i would love to hear your thoughts about this ball so make sure to comment in the comment section below what you think rate it from tournament perspective tour play perspective and a checkpoint challenge perspective because we are all we are all different uh, player type and it's also interesting to hear uh, each and everyone's thoughts 
It's going to be interesting for me, at least, when it comes to this ball, to see if it's a round ball. When we, uh, it is a round ball, sorry, but if the size is on the smaller side or on the bigger size, or it's actually a, in a good size. We haven't had many balls lately where the size has been perfect. Uh, I don't know why that is the case, but it's just something I've observed uh, via the latest uh, ball reviews when I've been trying out the ball. Now, this is a ball that you are may not be as dependent on how big the ball is. It's more about getting close to the green or on to the green or and such like that. But again, a ball uh, is going to be a better ball if it is uh, in a perfect size. Let's see. All right. Uh, we do have, we're going to go into that. We go free trial just like that. And then we shall be centering the ball. And it looks, I mean, it looks good. I would say may possibly one pixel uh, too small, but I would say it will not be something you should be bothered with, to be honest. Nice looking ball, for sure. Needle speed, it's a plus three, as we already talked about as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this ball. Scan the QR code here on the screen. And go to patreon.com slash gold clash to sign up for our premium guides. Thank you so much for watching another ball review here on the channel. Now, wish you the best of luck in your gold clash game.